Hey there, it's Rachel here with Sensa Tempo Cutty Corso, and I have got an update for cashmere. I've had a lot of people asking about where's cashmere, how's cashmere doing, so here she is. I don't know if you can see her very enlarged bottom, <laughs> but um, as you can see, she's really in heat now. Um, try to get a closer view for you <clears throat> of what it looks like. And she's not even, um, there you go. Yeah, so it almost looks kind of like an elephant trunk. It gets bigger and longer. It enlarges. So... Um, I wanted to take the time to talk to you guys about not or not just show you guys the physical signs that a female goes through when she's in heat, but also the um, the things that happen on a biological level, um, you know, on the um, interior of the dog. So, um, and that will kind of help explain to people because I have had a lot of questions. And criticism in regards to me breeding cashmere on a um, on a repetitive basis, and a lot of people do not understand canine reproductive biology. They come from it. Uh, most people that have an opinion, first of all, have an opinion because they've spoken to somebody that's in rescue, and um, and they are. You know, they will um, trash people who breed their dogs, what's called back-to-back -back breeding. And they'll completely ignore the fact that um, more than likely the reasons that, that, that the female comes in in such bad shape has nothing to do with how many times she was bred, but has everything to do with the manner in which the dog was kept, the diet the dog was fed, and the general um, maintenance that the dog received, which, uh, you know having babies is hard on a dog. Um, it would be hard on anyone. It's hard on every animal in the animal kingdom. And yet, <clears throat> other than humans, <clears throat> very few animals um, do not breed back to back. All of them do. The only ones that don't, um, and we're talking like a lion, a lioness, can actually prevent um, herself from getting pregnant. And kangaroos can spontaneously abort if the um, if the environment is not optimal, okay? If they know that they're not going to be able to take care of that baby, then they can abort. There are very few cases of this in nature. Um, and messing with nature as far as limiting reproduction when the natural cycle goes through is known to have negative effects. Uh, for example, ferrets, um, if not bred every single time, can die. The, um, the body does not um, come out of its uh, heat cycle and um, will actually cause the animal to die. So there, <clears throat> there are negative effects. Now, why do female dogs go into heat two times and wolves go into heat once? Well, that's because it has been proven through scientific studies that domesticated animals all have higher reproductive rates and they have higher levels of offspring. And that has to do with the amount of resources that are, that are available to those animals. So, for example, um, come here. Uh, uh, wild buffalo don't have as many young as, say, a domestic cow would because um, they don't have as much access to food. So it isn't like some evil man made a concoction to make domestic animals have more young and breed more often. It's a biological response to there being more resources and nature dictating that, that, that it is optimal. Okay, Nature wants them to breed, which is why they're going into heat. If a human thinks that that's not um, right and that the female needs a break, that's an opinion. But it is not a fact and especially not a not a scientific fact. So now we're going to talk about <clears throat> now we're going to talk about what the female's body goes through. So this um, the reason I bring this up is because 
one of the reasons why people say you should spay your female dogs and I believe you absolutely should when your female is an adult when she's um, you know full grown if you are not going to breed her you definitely should spay her otherwise you are risking her life and why is that well it's because of a disease called pyometria here's my notes I'm gonna read to you um, pyometria is, de is defined as an infection of the uterus uh, pyometria is considered a serious and life-threatening condition that must be treated quickly and aggressively. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, pyometria is a secondary infection that occurs as a result of hormonal changes in the female's reproductive tract. During estrus um, heat, white blood cells, which normally protect against infection, are inhibited from entering the uterus. This allows sperm to safely enter the female's reproductive tract without being damaged or destroyed by these immune system cells. Following the heat in the dog, progesterone, uh, pro pro progesterone I'm going to say that wrong, hormone levels remain elevated for up to two months and cause thickening of the lining of the uterus in preparation for pregnancy and fetal development. If pregnancy does not occur, the uterine lining continues to increase in thickness until cysts often form within the tissues. Let me get to my second page here. <clears throat> the thickening cyst lining secretes fluids that create an ideal environment for bacteria to grow in. Additionally, the high progesterone levels in in inhibit the ability of the muscles in the wall of the uterus to contract and expel accumulated fluids or bacteria. The combination of these factors often leads to infection. Now, who does this disease affect? Pyometria may occur in any sexually intact young to middle-aged dog. However, it occurs uh, most. Er, however, it is most common in older dogs. Um, pyometria usually occurs two to eight weeks after the last cycle. So, what we see here is that if you do not breed your dog, um, there are negative effects, okay? The body of a female dog goes through a heat cycle regardless of whether or not you breed her or not. She's going through a pregnancy, the same thing her body would go through, um, other than um, taking care of puppies, growing puppies, her body is still going through those effects and preparing for it. And unlike a human body that is able to expel all of that thickening lining um, after that heat cycle, we do it on a monthly basis, which allows us, and maybe that's, you know, I don't know about primate reproductive health, but it would be interesting to know if they do the same thing, okay? And maybe that's something that we've developed an evolutionary um, need to do because of the way that we organize ourselves in, in groups and whatnot. There's just no telling. But we do handle our heat cycles differently. And, and females menstruate afterwards, which um, expels all of that at the end. So it's a safer environment for a human, whereas a dog does not do that. So it is really important that if you're going to have an opinion about these kinds of things, that you be educated, that you understand, and that you not go around, um, you know, talking negatively or judging people based upon internet rumor and emotional uh, arguments that are not based in fact or reality, okay? I'm not going to risk my dog's health, and believe me, Palmetria kills silently. There are very few symptoms. By the time you see them, your dog is usually so sick that they need to be put down. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to trust nature. You know, I'm going to have faith that nature knows what it's doing. And, um, and I think that that is something a lot of people have lost. You know, they think for whatever reason, people think they know better than nature. I just think it's one of the most arrogant things about our species. So anyway, um, just wanted to touch base with you guys on that. Letting Gashmir get some outside time because it's fixing to rain here and there's not many people out. So I wanted to give her some time to get outside and, you know, smell the grass and walk around because we really can't take her out anymore, anywhere right now because <clears throat> she'll just cause a big hubbub with all the dogs. And then, of course, people won't know why she looks like that. <laughs> so... Come here. Back over here. So anyway, well, we'll talk at y'all guys later. Talk at you guys later. Sorry. Oh, I've got 
stuff in my mouth today apparently I can't talk <laughs> so anyway y'all have a good day I'll talk at you later bye what's the matter girl what's the matter